Hi guys, welcome to Deliver Studios. In this session, we'll be looking at the Android navigation. Navigation refers to the interactions that allow users to navigate across into and back out from the different pieces of content within your app. There are several principles or let's say three principles uh, of navigation. There is always a starting point, as a starting place, just like a launcher. You can always go back, should always go back. That should be its back stack hierarchy. And uh, you should use the up button, which acts uh, similarly to the Android back button. Just that the up button would not exit you from the application, which the back will. In this model, which is actually going to be a bumper package, we'll be creating a quiz application and we'll be applying the Android navigation uh, to it. We'll be setting up navigation. We'll be issuing the conditional navigation. We'll deal with the backstack manipulation. We're going to be adding the up button, also a menu, and uh, we'll be talking about the save arguments or when we need to pass data from one screen to the other. We'll look deeply into the explicit and implicit intent when you have to share uh, your congratulations screen. To wrap it up, we'll be using animation to do some other uh, transition from one activity to the other or from a fragment to the other. Without much ado, let's head straight to Android Studio and I'll be walking you through quickly on what we have on ground. In the build gradle, uh, you need to include the navigation fragment, which you have in line 44 and 45. Uh, we have a latest one, which is 2.3.0. Uh, we could just upgrade. And uh, you need to also add the KTX, the navigation UI KTX. We also have it as 2.3.0. We could also upgrade. All right, and I'll sync gradle. Uh, a quick rundown on our Java classes, or our layout before that, because our layout will get us to see what exactly we're dealing with. We have the activity mail, which is the entry point, uh, where we're going to pass in the fragment and the nav host uh, as time goes on. We're actually having this building up. That's why you have this still kind of looking this way. Uh, let's move to the fragment game. And the fragment game, uh, that's where you have uh, the game set up. Uh, you have the questions, four questions, and uh, you need to actually select the right answer and move to the next question. A successful uh, completion of that is actually going to give you a, a congratulations screen. While if you should miss one or two questions, you need to try it back again. We have the game over. You could see it that way. We have the game over. It says try again. The game won. Congratulating you. And the rules of the game. The title of the toolbar where it's actually going to tell, tell you the particular number of questions you are presently. And the nav header where we're going to integrate the navigation drawer. A peep into our classes. We have the main activity, the entry point, and we have a couple of fragments here. They are about the game, the game over, the game one, rules, and the title. I'll be laying a fallacy on the game fragment where we have uh, the data class of question, just like the model, the podio we really know. That's a text of string and a list of string called answers. Uh, in the text of string, that's where we have the question itself and the list of answers. That's where we have the multiple choice answer for answers, uh, where we're able to set up with a mutable list over there. You set up the query question like instantiating the question object. The same thing goes with the answer, and you have the question index will start from zero. The number question did some math getting the minimum value where you're going to know the particular number of questions you have presently. In the on-create view, you get to call the bind. You bind to the layout. You shuffle the questions by calling the random questions. And uh, you bind the game, game itself to the class, to the activity. And you set on a click lizard to the submit button when you submit uh, each answers. There, you're going to, we're going to compare to know which particular answer is, you pick, which is correct or not. At the same time, you get to set the question again. That's the next question. 
So that's just it, and uh, that's the major entry point. And the other fragments are just uh, bare bone, about fragment, game over, one, rules, and title. Without much ado, let's start to. Uh, okay, I have to take this away. Uh, we've not actually set up anything yet. I have to head straight down to our navigation. Let's start up with navigation. And for us to do that, you have to your rest. You need to alight the rest this way. New. Android resource file. You call that navigation. And the values, the resource type should be navigation. If you're not seeing navigation, ah, you need to upgrade your Android Studio or upgrade it to the latest version. You get to see that. It is you okay. With that, uh, we could actually collapse this and uh, we'll be working with the design view. But before we move further to that, uh, I, I need to actually set up in the activity menu, I need to set up the FNAV host because the navigation uh, infrastructure comes with the NAV host uh, that actually takes care of all navi navigation in the fragments. Also takes care of the back stack and uh, other kind of uh, hierarchy movement. So you need to actually include that. I have that copied somewhere, which I'll paste immediately right in here. Now you're having the nav host fragment as the ID. You have the name called the Android X. You're pointing at the nav host fragment class. And uh, you have uh, the default nav host should be true. And the nav graph, which is pointing at the navigation forward slash navigation itself, which is this. All right. Now we have our nav host, which is the nav. Now let's try to set up or start up with a screen at a time. The first screen is going to be the title screen. We have it as title fragment over there. And we're going to be picking the next fragment, which is called the game fragment. Pick it over there. So we need to do a connection between the title fragment to the game fragment. We click on this ball and drag it down to game fragments, connect that together. And it's going to give you an ID called action underscore title fragment to game fragment. All right. We head back to our project tree, going back to the title fragment. Now we need to trigger the click listener. If we should go to our um, the fragment title, that's the layout file, we have a button called play. And this button will trigger the start of uh, the game back to the title fragment. So we need to actually issue out uh, a listener there. We call binding, play button, uh, set on click listener. We we'll pick this one and uh, we call the navigation dot create navigation on click listener I'll point down to the ID r dot ID dirt action title fragment to game fragment well fine so we've set up our first navigation we could actually uh check this up in the emulator let's see how it goes uh if we actually did it correctly which suppose we did and uh, we'll get to see how we're going to transit from the first fragment, which is the title fragment, to the game fragment itself. All right now, let me bring up my emulator. All right, that's my emulator, and uh, get to go back to the home screen. And uh, we'll exercise a little patience for that to build up. And uh, with that, uh, we could be rest assured that we have a navigation working uh, correctly. All right. Okay, we have a successful build. Uh, so let's get it launched to uh, the screen of the emulator. Viola, here we go. This is our first screen, which is the title fragment. 
here we have the quiz and the play button so let's trigger the let's click on play and uh, that should take us down to our next screen over there all right now we have that as the next screen now we have the first question answered registers app with launch so you could submit and do some other computation here now in the next uh, video uh, we're actually going to add uh, more functionality and more juice to this particular application we will be talking about conditional navigation uh, where we'll be adding the game one fragments back and forth so when we click submit uh, oh, let's, let's try to run around here all right so we're going to actually improve from this in the next video don't go anywhere